Hey Andy here and welcome to this video tutorial. Now you may have arrived here because of my other video tutorial explaining how to create your own free custom YouTube subscribe pop-up animation for your videos. If that's the case, then in this video I'm going to show you how you can take your downloaded files, your pop-up videos, and bring them into Camtasia and then remove either the green or the blue background so that you have the solid subscriber pop-up and none of the colour around it. So if you see on screen what we're looking for is something that looks like this. So you see the pop-up comes up, it doesn't have the blue or the green around it and that's the same pop-up that I created in the other tutorial. If you have missed the other tutorial and you want to create something similar to that pop-up there, then I'll put the link in the description and I'll add the little card above so you can follow that link. And it's super easy, but it allows you to create your own personalized custom pop-up to try and encourage your viewers to subscribe to your channel. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do just now is I'm just going to remove these from the timeline and from the media bank so we're back to um, the start. Now, what we need to do is we need to bring in one of our MP4 files for our pop-up. So from the last tutorial, we downloaded our pop-up zip folder. We then extracted the files from that and what we got were three different folders. So one of the folders is an MP4 and an alpha mask, one is an MP4 and a blue background, and one is an MP4 and a green background. I always tend to use the blue or the green backgrounds. Um, it's super easy to be able to remove the colors and to leave the pop-ups. So they tend to be my preference. So let me show you how we do that. Now, first of all, I'm going to import those two MP4s into this project. So I'm just going to go up to the media bank here within Camtasia. I'm going to right click and import media. And then you'll see that I have my um, folder here. What I want to do is I'm going to open the blue background one and import that file. So this is the template MP4. And I'm also going to make sure that I select the audio file that's in the same folder because that provides the sound effects for that particular animation, the little bell ringing when the animation clicks on the bell. So I'll click import and bring those both in. And then I'm also going to bring in the green version so we can just do both for this video. So again, I'll choose a green template and the audio file and bring those in. Now, I'm not gonna go through how to use Camtasia in this particular tutorial. I'll save that for another day. But what I am going to show you is how to now remove the green from around the pop-up and the blue. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my template and drag it down above my video on a new track. So somewhere around about here. You'll see that the green background is indeed masking the video just now, but that's fine. We will remove that. And I'm going to take the associated audio file and I'm going to just drop it at the same point as the start point for that particular pop-up so that I know that they are synchronized. And of course, I could test this by just pressing um, play. And this is the bell sound here. So as long as it links up with the cursor clicking on the bell, then we know that those two are fine. Now, as long as I move them together, they will remain in sync. Of course, once I have removed the background, I could just group them so that I can just move one element on one track rather than having to have them independent and make sure I move them together. Anyway, we have our background here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to this menu and we are going to look for visual effects. Now, if you can't see it, what sometimes happens is other menus are shown and there's a little kind of more area down here. You can click on that and then find visual effects. But what we're going to do is from the visual effects menu, we are going to scroll and we're going to look for remove a color. So you'll see as I hover over this one, it shows you you can remove the color from the background. And I've marked this as a favorite with a little star so that it always appears in my favorites area here. But it, it actually does live in the visual effects menu. So as with any effect in Camtasia, all you want to do is click and drag it. And we're gonna drag it onto the template file. And you will see that it is already, when I'm hovering over the template file, it is already starting to take away the green and I can see me underneath. But it's not perfect yet, but that's okay because we're going to make it perfect. So I'll release the um, cursor button and you'll see that we now have the pop-up. And as I 
move back and forward, you'll see the pop-up comes up. We can still see the green elements and the green tint, but that's fine, we're going to remove that. What you need to do now is make sure that you have selected the pop-up file. So if, for example, I have the audio file selected, then we'll see the properties for that piece of media. What we're going to do is click on our pop-up media file, and now we can see the properties for that one. The first box here is the general kind of things like scaling and size and opacity. We don't need to worry about that. What we're interested in is this one down here called remove a color. Now you'll see the color here has already automatically picked up that green. What we now need to do is simply move the tolerance. So you'll see if we drag tolerance right to the left, we get all of the green. And if we move it to the right, it starts to take the green away. Now you may be looking at that and think that's perfect. But if I just zoom in a little bit here, let me move the grab tool down, you'll see that we can still see the green around the edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to tolerance and I'm just going to shift that up until that green basically completely disappears. And from practice, it tends to be around about 70% from my experience is enough to remove the background, but to still allow us to see the um, pop up in full. So I'll jump that back to fit and we'll move back to here, we'll press play and you can see the pop-up works and we've also got the audio sound effects. Now don't worry about the background um, sound from me talking in this video clip because I have already um, muted that one so we don't, we don't have audio there. Okay, next one I want to add in the blue so I'm going to follow the same process. So I'm going to head back up to media, I'm going to choose the blue template media file this time so this is the pop-up with the blue background. I'm going to drop that down and I'll grab my audio and position the audio at the beginning of that again. So let me just get that lined up. There we go. And you'll see that the yellow marker there means that this piece and this piece are aligned. So they should be in sync. And again, we can check that by listening to the video. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back into visual effects. Again, I'm going to use remove a color and I'm going to drop that on top of the blue template this time. Okay, now the difference here is, although I have applied that, we still see the blue background, and that is because the color is still set to that green. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on the little down pointing arrow next to the color, and instead of trying to guess what the color is, I'm just gonna grab the eyedropper tool, or the color picker, and I'm just gonna hover over my video and click anywhere in here because it's a solid blue color. It's not a gradient, it's not a sort of gradual fade from dark to light blue, it's just one blue. And all I do is left click and it removes that blue for me. I don't even need to alter the tolerance here because it has removed it. What I can do this time is I can zoom in again, move down and just double check. And if there's any hint of blue here, which it looks like there's a little bit, I can just move the tolerance along just to take that out. So just be careful here though, because what you don't want to necessarily do is remove the entire outline from the pop-up. So I'm gonna to go to about there and then I'm going to fit it again. And I'm just gonna close these um, windows down to give me a little bit more space and then check how that looks. And you'll see the pop-up works, we've got the sound and we have removed the background. So there you have it, two different ways to remove the background color from your ProFounder pop-up that we created in the other tutorial. As I said, if you want to now find out how to create the, um, the pop-up, then just click the link in the description and I'll put a card to the video above. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. Feel free to comment below. Let me know if you think that these pop-ups are um, useful in videos. Do they encourage you to subscribe? And of course, if you found this video useful, please do think about subscribing to my channel. I've got plenty more videos on the channel and I've got plenty more to come. So I would love to have you on board. But thanks again for watching.